Professor Perfect. I'm trying to love math by Bethany Barton. If you ask me, math is not very lovable. I know I'm not alone here either. Four in ten Americans hate math. That's like 40%. Did you just use math to explain how much you don't like it? A space alien? What do you know about math? Well, math is understood all over the earth, no matter what language people speak. 5 plus 12 equals 17. Except, you're not from earth. Nope, but thankfully, scientists send math out to space. Scientists took examples of life on Earth, things like language, music, and math, and put them onto golden records. Binary, addition, fractions, multiplication. The golden records went on space probes they sent into deep space for curious aliens like me to find. They sent you math? No wonder aliens don't come visit. They should have sent cookies. What are cookies? I'll make you some. They're so much better than math. Let's see. I just need two and a half cups of flour and three fourth cup sugar, three fourth cup brown sugar and one cup butter hmm looks like i need two of these to equal a cup wait baking is just a bunch of math isn't it whoa in fact this whole recipe is basically a word problem it has fractions temperature Conversions, time, chocolate. But isn't that a good thing? Without those measurements and fractions, what would you end up with? A burned pile of mush. I guess you have a point. Okay, you see this math problem here? 785 times 5... I'm going to try to love it. Maybe if I stare at it and think about cookies. Mm, nope. I'm already bored. What if I jazz it up with some extra numbers and add some of these symbols? Whoops. You got a little carried away. This is way too much math. Can we shake the book and make some of the numbers fall out? Just hold it tight and give it a few good shakes. Whew. Thanks. Math is just so boring. It's not like you can dance to it. Actually, you can. Music has a lot of math in it. In fact, it was a mathematician who discovered that different lengths of string produce different musical sounds. Because of his math, you're able to make the guitars you have today. Well, Thanks for ruining music for me. Now all I hear are numbers. I think you're missing the point. Math isn't all about numbers. Arithmetic, another word for math with numbers, is super helpful. But it's only one part of math. Math is also about exploring about finding new ways to get places and helping you find your way back. For centuries, sailors navigated using the stars, special measuring tools, and lots of math. Modern explorers calculate how much force and fuel 
is needed to get a rocket past your atmosphere and out into space. Take that, gravity. Speaking of exploring, you've barely checked out Earth. We have lots of beautiful things to see. Math is here in your nature too. Math is about finding shapes and patterns. Oh no you don't. You're making it all about math again. But it's my turn to teach you something. Introducing Earth's greatest invention. Pizza! That does look interesting. How big is that thing? Oh, that's easy. It's, um... Wait, how do you measure this thing? I know, and the answer is easy as pi. Pi represents a number. It's a super long number, so you usually shorten it to 3.14. It's a sort of a cheat code to figure out the size of a circle. Pi times diameter equals circumference. Pi is also what's called an irrational number, which means it goes on forever and never repeats. Like this. Well, that was unexpected. I never thought I'd say this, but this is too much pi for me. That's an easy fix. Let's just grab the book and shake all this pi off the page. Ooh, that's better. I'll admit, some of this math stuff is cool. I'm okay, but math can still be pretty frustrating. Like how there is only one right answer. That's true. But it's also what makes math so helpful. Math gives us a set of rules everyone can agree on. So we know how far to travel to get places, how fast we're moving on our way, and how much things cost.